Here we are with UP Studio. Uh, nothing on the screen right now. I will load my dented cup and then this cube which ended up behind the cup. Uh, there it is. And we'll just place it right there. What I did then is select this and do decompose. The model was already designed in CAD in three sections, so now I can see all those three sections. And if I unselect here, that one dented one is the bottom, two is the top, and three is the middle. What I do next is the cube. 2020 20, 20 is the cube. I come over here. and use set main model which became the cube okay for some reason the cup jumps off the page here's the cup right here these three files so what I need to do is shift select all three of those now I can do a move and put it back on the build plate why it does that, I don't know. Back to the main file, which is this one. I make sure everything is turned on. I actually go to advanced. extruder and all three extruders are selected using the same material that's up here I always say apply and OK I select to do I select this which is a set config range and I'm going to set the config range on the cube. This cube is the same height as this bottom layer, 20 millimeters. So I want this to be at the top, which is 20. I can, I can definitely make sure this is 0 by typing it in. Coming up here, and making this 20. Okay. Here is that selection. And I come in here and make sure that selection is extruder one. Now I have three sections of this. I want the bottom section to be union, red, that's, that's nozzle one. I want the middle section to be extruder three. And I want the bottom section, or I mean the top section, be extruder 2 and it is so now we're all set up Come back and select everything and slice and there we are extruder 1 is the cube in the bottom extruder 2 is the top 
extruder 3, the mix is the middle. That's how I created three color model.